I've got no acceleration enrichment at all right now, so I give it a little. You see that little lean spike right there? It's a little hesitation. So as I give it, it kind of pauses and says, do I want it? Okay, I'll do it. So listen for that. All right, so this is something that I've had a couple of requests for is to do some acceleration wizard testing or uh, acceleration enrichment playing around with setting it up and how I go about it. So I have a couple different ways I go about it. I've got my computer pulled open right over here. Uh, my car is mostly warmed up. I shut it down for a few minutes, went inside eight, and now I've got about 30 minutes to play around. So if you're going to be a great time to hit record and... Uh, See what I can get done in that short window of time. So here inside of my settings, I'll go ahead. This is Speed Widow that I'm tuning on, but a lot of these still work for Megasquirt the same way. And I'll kind of talk through that a little bit as well. Mine is based on percent. So make sure you know that what your, your X and Y axis are, if it's percent added or milliseconds added, um, different systems like different things but it makes a huge world of difference to make sure you know you're talking milliseconds versus percent i personally am a huge fan of percent because it makes life much easier if you ever swap injectors which happens you'll notice down here they have this little graph section right there that graph is really meant so that real-time display and you can go in there and tune everything if i turn the key to on you'll notice that you'll see the blue line up here there it is. Uh, so you'll see it in there as it's starting to figure out where it's at and it'll suddenly jump when it's got a realistic number. I haven't started the car in a few minutes, so it should be just dead lean. What, uh, here's what's interesting. A lot of times you think about it, you think about the ideal area of where you want your air fuel ratios as you're under acceleration. You would think that like a 12.5 to one would be a great area, great ratio for those that are using gas. Well, the truth of the matter is, is not necessarily. Uh, a lot of times as I'm testing out on cars, I find that they really love a little bit richer. I've seen some that really like 11. I have even seen a couple of cars that really like 10 to 1 ratios under that first initial hit from Acceleration Wizard as you add that pulse width to go in there and, uh, and give it that little jump as you have that sudden rush of air coming into the engine. So let's go ahead and play around with it. A couple of things you'll notice is there is a taper. So I've set up my TPS. I've been running that for a long period of time. You can kind of see the values there. I'm really going to focus on map because I want to start using map. I'm a turbo setup. So in general, map is going to be a little bit more consistent for me because I can floor it. And then as soon as the boost starts hitting hard, if it hits really hard, that's when I need that acceleration wizard to kind of catch that and start adding a little bit in there. Otherwise, if I'm using auto tune or something like that, it might just overcompensate for it in a different way, which is fine. It just depends. I personally like a uh, map-based acceleration wizard for turboed cars. That's me, okay? I think it fits a few more scenarios and is a better product all around for tuning. Uh, does that mean TPS is wrong for turbos? No, not at all. It's just a different method. There are pros and cons to both different ways. I personally just lean toward map if you have a turbo car. If you're running an NA car, absolutely TPS is your best friend. Go that route. Um, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna kick over and I'm going to call out map. And you're going to see these values are just basic values that are out there. Um, I'm going to compare them to essentially what I had in my TPS. So let me show my values for the TPS and what I've been running. My TPS values were 17, 15, and then almost 60 at 220, 430, 790. So I'll get that set up. I'm going to kind of follow that same path for the moment just to kind of get that in there and take care of it. So the first thing, I'm gonna call out those. So we might need to make this a little bit richer, but let's go ahead and have some fun. Let's start it up. I wanna find out, very first thing, what's the minimal amount of throttle I'm gonna give it where I want it to do something. Okay, so we've got that in there. So just that little tap shot me up to, looks like about, I don't know, 55 or so. 
So you can see it in two different places. So that did nothing. That kind of enabled it. That did. Okay, so look at my air fuel ratio. I hit it, activates, it drops. Hit it, activate, it drops. But it doesn't go down as far as I want it to, so let me increase that. Maybe I'll take this to 30. Now that seems kind of an extreme. I just doubled the value, right? Let's see how she behaves. Just a hair. I'm going to take that down to, let's say, 50. I'm going to change this value to 50. I just want to match it a little bit. There we go. You see that little bump right there? I gave it a little bit more, but you see how it bumps and drops. I don't want it to lean out. I want it to bump and drop. Ah, that one bumped a little bit more, so I'm going to up that this area right here, maybe I'll take that to 90. Okay, that's a huge jump. I probably went a little bit there. What I'm kind of doing, you'll see this little line right here. This is the line I'm aiming for. It's kind of good. Well, let's kind of hear a difference though. Let's say if I do something crazy, let's say I come down to this one and I change it to 90. That's a huge, huge jump. I think it went too far. You kind of heard it stumble, right? You hear it go, whoa, whoa. You hear it there? That's what I'm listening for. So if I kick this back down to 30, I gave it just a little bit of a kick, but it didn't like it. That one, it, it took it. it. It liked it much better. But I think that, that middle throttle, Ah, you see there? See how, well, that was me off the throttle. I got it pretty good. Okay, so I got it perfectly at second spot. I got it to rich and out. I think that's pretty good. Should we go for third one? Ooh, the third one's actually... Well, let me try this. Let me mellow this out. Maybe I'll do something like... 85 here. And I'll really have to get under boost to start tuning this. What I might do is shorten these down. So instead of saying this is 220, maybe I really want to change this and say that one's 50, this one is 100 because I'm having trouble getting up there. And then uh, I'll change this one to 150. Actually, I'll do 175. And let's do, let's do 300. Okay, so I just made a completely different kind of graph right there. But I'm gonna kick this one down to, because I've got so much going on in that area, I really wanna fine tune that a little bit better. So I'm shrinking my, my resolution in between the whole graph because it is different than my TPS sensor. My TPS, I can get a much crazier thing. And with this old Warren engine, it wants kind of a narrow window. And as I test and drive it, I'm gonna confirm that and make sure I'm not going outside of that window, which I I really don't think I will, but I'll show you in a day log how you can confirm that. So let's go ahead. I've got uh, this one. I'm gonna kick this down to 65. There we go. That's kind of a fairly steady little, little amount right there. So tap, tap. Tap. All right, so you can see right there, just by hitting the gas pedal, I got it up there in that higher 300 range pretty easy. So maybe I'll change that to 350. I'll burn that in there. We're gonna give that another shot. Ooh, 
see how quick I got up there? But listen to the engine. You can kind of hear it as it's uh, figuring things out and kind of liking it. If I give it too much gas, then it kind of starts to puddle out. Uh, so for example, I'll show you what two rich is. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna multiply all these values by two, okay? So boom, just like that, everything's double the value. I'm gonna expect this thing to bog as soon as I gun it. You hear that? It had to miss. That wasn't too bad, actually. But you can see how it dipped below that little white line right there, which tells me it's just big rich. If you watch my gauge right here, you can see it dip. To be honest, mine really likes low 12s from what I've done with my TPS adjustments. So anyway, right there, I'm gonna go ahead do the same thing, highlight these three. I'm gonna multiply that by 0.5. Woohoo, there we go. So I'm back to where I was. Let's play around with this again. I'll burn it. So I'm just gonna watch the gauge mostly this time and get actual values. I'm running a little rich at the moment, but oh shoot. My temp, my fans. Yeah, you, you saw that, my fault. Anyway, fans are on now. Oh, that felt good. Went down to low 12s right there, you saw that? So we've got that section pretty good. Okay, I got that one pretty good. I got that pretty good. So I've got my low idle now set. So I've done my first tip in, my acceleration ratio, all from idle. Basically, how do I want it to behave from idle? Now what I'm gonna do is I gotta do some driving. And the idea behind that driving is I'm just gonna go around, I'm gonna give it some tests, and I'm really gonna look in to where I want this to start tapering out. So I'm gonna watch the data log. So if I'm at, and right here, just by default, it says taper start at 2000 RPM. So I'm saying at 2000 RPMs, I'm realizing it doesn't need as much of acceleration wizard to dump in more percentage of fuel. Okay, that makes perfect sense. But at what point do I want that, that window to really take effect? And that's where I'm sitting here. So I'm gonna go for a drive. Every car is gonna be absolutely different when it comes to this. So my car, I'm gonna start testing this out in 1,000 RPM increments. If I get to 2,000 RPM and I gun it at different you know, throttles, so if I give it a little bit of gas at 2,000, a little more gas at 2,000, that's what I expect. That is where you're gonna be playing around and kind of setting up your things. You're gonna know from a couple of the basis of your engine what type of cam you have in there, what type of situation you have, things like that. I've got my car cooling down, so I'm just gonna turn this off now. I'll shut it down. Okay. So that's why I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start playing around. So we talked a little bit about the, the threshold. So I've got my map threshold set where I want it. Basically the idea behind this is what they call a lean tip in. This is very common if you have that threshold set too high. If you just barely give it a little bit of a gas, let's say you're at a stoplight, the light turned green, the cars in front of you are starting to inch away from you. You don't want to look like that idiot that just waits until they start pulling off and then you heavily cover off. So you give it a little bit of gas, just a little bit of a tap. Last thing you want to do is hear that stumble, hear that little lean stumble and catch. In a lot of engines, you don't notice it. On my car with a bigger cam, it's noticeable. One of the things I just want to call out there is that threshold. You really want to set that threshold in a reasonable spot, but what you don't want to have happen is you set it so low that the normal swings of your car, whether it's AC, if you have air conditioning installed, or whether it's things such as turning on headlights. So the last thing you want is that if you, you turn on headlights, you put on electrical load, fans, anything like that, the last thing you want to do is cause acceleration wizard to kick on at that moment, because then you're just going to give extra fuel for really not much of a reason. Now, of course, there's probably some situations where you'd want that. I haven't seen those, but I don't want someone, you know, angrily calling me out on a chat. Um, 
I just haven't ran into them. If you know something different or have a really cool example or situation, let me know. I'd love to hear. With, uh, with this case, though. So that's what the threshold is. We went ahead and talked about the acceler... Actually, I didn't talk about the acceleration time in milliseconds. So this is how long is it going to give it? Duration of the acceleration. There's a couple of assumptions you can make to how long it was doing it, but they do give you the option to go in here on Speedwino and say, well, how long do you want that acceleration to last for? 200 milliseconds, that's really not much of a time, but if you looked in the logs and everything that was going on there, it was just fine. Um, I think that's a great starting point for my car. I'll probably look at the data logs and start tweaking that as I go along, and so we'll kind of explore that together as I get to that point. With the taper and start and end, I already know where I'm probably gonna end up. Yeah, some kids going crazy out there. Not my kids. With uh, the taper start, the RPM with mine, the boost comes in at about 2,500. The cam really hits around 3,000, 3,200. So in this case, I think I'm gonna end up starting this one off at about, Let's start with 3000 RPM and 5500 seems like a good spot. What I'm gonna do now though is go for a drive and it's gonna be a very simplistic drive, kind of similar to how I did my uh, spark timing off a of tip-in. Um, I'm gonna do the same style. So I'm gonna get the car up to about 2000 RPM. And I'm just gonna give it a light little tap. I'm gonna give it a heavier tap and I'm gonna give it a hard tap and then I'll move to 3000 RPM or 2500 RPM and do the same thing. I'm gonna find that spot where all of a sudden it starts giving it too much gas at a certain RPM. And then I'm gonna kind of figure out where I need that taper to start so that when I get to that point where it's at too much gas and it's letting me know it has too much gas by that little stumble, it's gonna clear that spot. So if you start that taper, as soon as it starts to stumble or at the RPM where it stumbles, you're probably already too late. Um, you missed your window. I'd probably go back a couple of thousand RPM and start the taper before that so that when it gets to the point where you noticed it, you're safe, okay? So in this case, 3,000, 5,500. There it is. This is a very long-winded video just to set up my map-based acceleration wizard, but uh, I don't know why I keep calling it wizard. I'm still used to mega square in that regard. But in short, that's kind of what I did. That's what my engine's liking so far. I'm gonna to drive to work tomorrow and uh, give it a shot and see how she feels. And I'm gonna go through and do the light, heavy, the well, light, medium, and heavy throttle spots at each thousand RPMs all the way up to essentially six grand. And make sure that my taper start, my taper end is in the right place. I might play around with the Excel time from 200 milliseconds, but based on what I just saw here at idle, I mean, heck yeah, it seems like a perfect place to start with. So, well, I hope you learned something. Let me know uh, if you've got any follow-up questions, have fun tuning around with your car and making it better. Uh, drop me a line if you, uh, anything you wanna see specifically. So other than that, stay tuned, see you next time.